Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss complete linkage agglomerative hierarchical clustering with the help of simple solved example. In the previous videos, I have solved many examples on agglomerative clustering algorithm. Link for those videos is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given a data set with uh, five data points A, B, C, D, E. Also, the distance matrix is given to us. That means uh, the distance between pair of uh, data points is given. That is the distance from A to all other data points, B to all other data points and so on. Given this uh, distance matrix, so we need to apply the complete linkage hierarchical clustering algorithm. And then we need to divide these data points into different uh, clusters. As well as uh, we need to draw the dendrogram in this case. Because uh, we are using complete linkage agglomerative hierarchical clustering algorithm, we need to use uh, maximum distance formula to update the weight matrix. To calculate the distance between two clusters, that is a cluster A and cluster B, we can use this formula. That is, distance between cluster A and B is always equivalent to maximum distance between the data points which are present in cluster A and cluster B here. I will discuss how to use this formula to update the weight matrix at the later stage. Now, I will start with the given data set consisting of five data points here. Initially, we will consider each of these data points as a single cluster or the singleton cluster here. That means in the first iteration, we were having uh, five clusters here. Now, what we need to do is uh, from the given uh, distance matrix, so we need to identify a pair of uh, clusters whose distance is a minimum in this case. For example, if you consider the data point A and B, the distance between cluster A and B is 9 here. Similarly, we have to go through each and every distance. We need to identify two clusters. The distance between those two clusters should be minimum here. If you consider uh, the cluster C and E, the distance between C and E is equal to 2, which is minimum among all other uh, distances in this case. The meaning of this one is uh, we need to merge the cluster E with C uh, so that we will get only one cluster in this case. So once you merge E with uh, C, it will look something like this. Previously, we were having uh, five clusters. After merging E to C, we were having only four clusters here. Also, we know the distance from C to all other data points. We know the distance from E to all other data points. But we don't know the distance from CE to uh, other data points like A, B and D in this case. So what we need to do here is uh, we need to calculate the distance from cluster CE to all other data points here. So there comes uh, the maximum distance uh, formula. Here uh, to calculate the distance between the two clusters CE, and A, we can use the maximum uh, uh, distance formula here. That is the maximum distance between the data point C to A or the E to A in this case. We know the distance from C to A. What is the distance here? 3 in this case. What is the distance from E to A? That is uh, 11 in this case. So what we need to do is we need to get the maximum among these two things, which is equivalent to 11 in this case. Similarly, we need to calculate the distance from C E to B here. That means uh, we need to get the maximum distance between the CB and uh, EB here. We know the distance between CB that is equal to 7. The distance between EB is equal to 10. Maximum is 10 in this case. So similarly, we need to calculate the distance between cluster CE and D here, which is equal to 9 in this case. The meaning of this one is uh, the distance between cluster CE to A is equal to 11. The distance between cluster CE to uh, B is equal to 10 here. And the distance between uh, cluster CE to uh, D is equal to 9 in this case. Similarly, we will get in this column also. After updating the weights, the distance matrix looks something like this. After the first iteration, we got uh, four clusters. We use this distance matrix as the base for the next iteration in this case. Now, from this uh, distance matrix, again, we need to identify two clusters whose distance is minimum here. Again, if you look at this uh, distance matrix carefully, the distance between uh, clusters B and D is equal to 5, which is minimum among all the distances here. So what we need to do, we need to merge uh, B and D with one another. After merging, we will get only uh, three clusters. The one cluster is A, another one is BD, and the another cluster is uh, CE here. Again, we don't know the distance from the cluster BD to A as well as uh, CE here. So we need to use uh, the maximum distance formula and then we need to calculate the distance here. The distance between uh, cluster BD and A is equal to the maximum distance between B to A and D to A here. The maximum between 9 and 6 is 9 here. The meaning of this one is the distance from BD to A is equal to 9 here. 
Similarly, we need to calculate the distance from cluster BD to CE here. That is maximum distance between B to C, B to E, D to C and D to E here. So we know all these distances and among these we need to calculate the maximum here. What is the maximum here? 10. The meaning of this one is the distance from BD to CE is equal to 10 in this case. Similarly, we will get the values for column also. After putting the updated values, uh, the updated weight matrix looks something like this. So after the second uh, iteration, we got three clusters. This will become the base for the next iteration here. Again, we need to identify the minimum distance between the two clusters. Here, 9 is the minimum among the clusters A and BD here. So we need to merge A and BD. Once you merge A and BD, we will get only two clusters. That is, A, B, D will be the one cluster. CE will be the another cluster here. Again, we don't know the distance between A, B, D to CE here. So to calculate that distance, again, we need to use the max uh, formula here. The distance between the cluster A, B, D and CE is always equal to the maximum distance between A, C, A, E, B, C, B, E, D, C and D, E here. All those things I have written here. We need to put the values in this case. Once you put the values, uh, you can notice here the maximum uh, distance is 11. The meaning of this one is the distance between cluster A, B, D and C, E is equal to 11 in this case. We need to put that value into this uh, uh, table or the weight matrix. We will get the updated weight matrix, something like this. Now we have only two clusters. There is no need to look at the minimum distance or something like that. We need to club these two things into one cluster so that we will be able to get the one cluster containing all the data points in this case. So uh, once uh, all the data points are present in one cluster, we need to stop the complete linkage uh, agglomerative hierarchical clustering algorithm here. Now uh, the next part is to draw the dendrogram. Uh, to draw the dendrogram, uh, we need to start with uh, the sequence in which we have created or merged the clusters here. In the first iteration, uh, we have merged C and E. So that will be the first uh, uh, cluster here. And then we have merged BD. That is what has been uh, uh, drawn in this dendrogram and later we have merged A with BD in this case. Finally, we have merged A, B, D to C. So that is what you can notice in this case. Now, once you draw the dendrogram based on the required number of clusters, so we need to cut this uh, dendrogram. If I cut it over here, you will get two clusters, one containing A, B, D as the one cluster, another cluster containing C, E here. If I cut this uh, dendrogram over here, you will get uh, three clusters, one uh, cluster containing the data point A, another cluster containing the data point BD and the third cluster containing the data point CE here. The same thing can be done for the required number of clusters here. So in this video, I have discussed how can we use a complete linkage agglomerative hierarchy clustering algorithm on the given data set and how to divide the data points into different clusters as well as how to draw the dendrogram. I hope the concept of uh, complete linkage uh, clustering algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.